In this video, I will share with you that how you can add installment plans or partial payments to your website so your user can pay down payments and then they can pay installments. Uh, the use case of it is if a user doesn't have uh, that much money to buy a product that you are selling, then you can uh, set installments on your website so that user uh, can pay within months. So uh, you can select the percentage or fixed amount of down payment and then you can select the installation uh, installment plans as well like if I click on this one purchase with partially uh, and uh, I'll just proceed to check out here I have uh, these plans so first of all I'll be charged $18 the product is $90 but I'll charge I'll be charged $18 and then on October 27 I'll be charged uh, $18 then uh, on uh, November 10 then on uh, November 24 and then on December 8 and uh, then uh, it would be a total of $90 and I have to accept and just make some signs and just click on proceed to payment so that is all uh, you'll have to add your card details as well and that is all about like if someone has credit card and they don't have those limits so that uh, they uh, uh, your users so they can uh, just add uh, these installments they can buy the products with installments from your website but before that um, if you want to learn that how you can create an e-commerce store for free you can uh, just watch a video on my youtube channel which i have created um, a complete detailed video where i have covered everything about e-commerce store and don't forget to subscribe and uh, uh, subscribe to my youtube channel and click on bell icon because i used to upload related videos and also don't forget to uh, uh, see all the links in description important links in description and you can also subscribe to my newsletter for free for right now and if you have any questions or uh, or any comments uh, the comment section is open for you and you can just go to the comment section and comment down any uh, opinion or any question so let's just get started first of all you will have to go to a website a partially p a r t i a l dot l y here you can see this is the link so you just have to go to this website and after going to this website you can uh, get more information about this website if this website is trusted or not you can see this website integrates with woocommerce shopify magento open card presto shop quickbooks freshbooks and big commerce this is basically for uh, the stores made to make installments and also for invoicing purposes but we want to use it for installments uh, so i'll just click on get started started now and here you will have to add the email to uh, sign up then password and then click on uh, this take and click on sign up and after signing up here you will have to add your business name and then uh, any description and this is a business description then uh, your country from here you'll have to select your country uh, my country is uh, or let's say United States then click on next and here you will have to select uh, uh, which categories fits your business uh, my one is apparel and accessories or apparel and clothing then for here from here you will have to select uh, for which purpose you want to use it uh, for retail sell goods and services through online store for online stores for physical stores and then for invoicing purposes and then for repayments and uh, past due debts uh, uh, you can also do that but we want it for our retail store uh, online store and then how uh, often you need the payments uh, fulfillment time uh, uh, so here you have how longer after an order is placed you will provide your customers with their product or service so uh, within a few days because uh, it needs few days for shipping then you will have to uh, connect your partially account with your stripe account so just click on uh, continue with stripe and after here you will have to add your email and uh, after adding your email click on continue and a code has been sent to your mobile phone for uh, for the payments uh, sorry for the confirmation uh, 751428 751428 and uh, now it will confirm the code then uh, here you have to select a business or create a new business so uh, I haven't created any business yet so I'll just click on continue and here I'll select company then sole proprietorship or let's say I select individual and just continue 
uh, you will have to select company if you have the company then you will have to add all your legal information and all those informations i'll just pause and get back to you after i have set it up and after setting up the stripe account you will get this dashboard right now i am using another partially account because i was not allowed to create another uh, stripe account and uh, it took a lot uh, time for confirmation etc so i just got back to this account this account isn't used and i'll show you the demo then after signing up how you can just create the account uh, like how you can just do the integrations first of all we need to integrate this uh, partially to our uh, website to do that you just have to go to plugins go to add new and after going to add new uh, you will have to install a plugin called woo partially woo partially so you'll search uh, search for woo partial and uh, sorry a uh, woo partial I, my spellings were not right so I search for that or just only search for partially and you will get this plugin uh, and with a thousand plus active installations and uh, just install this plugin and after this plugin is installed just click on activate so this plugin is activated now now what you have to do is you just have to go back to your website go to settings go to integrations and click on connect you will have to connect with WooCommerce now you need a WooCommerce shop URL consumer key consumer secret and WooCommerce version etc etc and you will have to add all information where to find this information just go back to uh, your store go to settings and after going to your settings uh, you'll have to go to integration uh, advanced and uh, here in advanced you will have to go to AP REST API and just click on create an API key and it would create an API key for you here you have to add the description here I'll select create and now write and I'll add description partially okay and then you'll just have to create and generate API so here you have the consumer key consumer secret you just copy it paste it then again copy it and again paste it and here in WooCommerce shop URL you will have to add this shop link okay and then just click on update WooCommerce settings and after updating WooCommerce settings, you'll have to go back uh, to uh, your uh, payments. Here, just go to the payments. And after going to payments, here you have got this partially payment plan. Just click on manage. And after clicking on manage, here uh, you have, uh, if you want to add partially a peak, if you don't want to add these things, first of all, now here you have to set a few things. Uh, first of all, it's the maximum, uh, minimum order amount. What should be the minimum order amount? Then what should be the maximum order amount? And all that will be doing that. But first of all, we need to create an offer in this partially account. So just go to offers and uh, uh, then uh, first of all let me just tell you about some settings and then uh, at the end I'll tell you how to create the offer so here you can go you have the reports schedule payments and uh, abundant cards and etc etc then you have the customer list then you have the payments uh, payment batches refunds disputes payouts etc etc then pay uh, abundant cart etc and its settings uh, here you can just uh, set the things uh, when to send the message recovery messages etc etc then you have the payment plans you can add new payment plans but right now we just want to create an offer because we are running an e-commerce store so i'll just click on create new offer here you have to give the name of the offer like let's say 40 percent upfront 
uh, we want to take 40% upfront and uh, rest of the payment you would be paid on installations or 20% let's say 20% upfront and our rest of the payment should be in the installations okay then you can add a checkout fee as well if you want to add a checkout fee uh, but I'll leave it as it is then here you will have to select the down payment how much you want as down payment uh, if you will enable that uh, customers can choose between this and this uh, per, uh, payment uh, like uh, let's say you will add uh, uh, you will add 10 to 20 percent so uh, or 10 to 30 percent so user can pay anywhere between 10 to 30 percent as a down payment uh, you can select percentage or you can select a fixed amount as down payment I'll select percentage because we are selling different products and uh, uh, I'll just uh, uh, remove it and here I'll select 20 percent 20% as down payment then what should be the payment schedule uh, so uh, payment frequency per month per week per day or per how many weeks per how many months and etc etc so uh, in per, uh, like twice a month so per two weeks okay then you can allow as well uh, customers uh, that um, what should be the payment frequency if uh, you want them to customize it then what should be the term three months two months one month etc etc et so I'll select two months then you can again allow uh, your customers for that uh, then what should be the first payment date uh, uh, so from here you can just select the uh, uh, first payment date as well and then just click on create the offer so here you go your offer is created this is your offer ID for, from here you can select where uh, your uh, offer would be uh, placed then uh, you uh, you have custom button right now or you can just add an image purchase with partially etc etc installments available or uh, and uh, then uh, from here uh, yeah uh, we have done uh, with uh, we are done with everything or if you will select custom button you have some settings you can just customize the logo if you want to uh, customize it with your uh, brand uh, color and you want to add uh, uh, your brand color into it then um, uh, where it should be the uh, icon should be displayed and etc etc or you can just add the uh, like this one okay after adding that what you have to do is you just have to offer a uh, copy this offer ID just go there and uh, here you will uh, as sell, uh, you will see a partially offer ID button uh, sorry a form um, like field here you have to add your partially offer ID then uh, your minimum order amount here uh, let's say uh, uh, what is the minimum order amount like below that amount uh, you don't uh, you would not accept installments and above that amount you will not accept the installments then uh, the title and the description uh, in description let's say I'll add 20% upfront with two months flexible installments okay and then here is your API gateway URL and then what should be the order status after uh, and the payment is made so I'll say processing then uh, present product images to partially uh, partially widget enabled then how should be the partially uh, widget style I'll say thin and then what should be the widget title flexible payments or you can say installments installments and, uh, and then you have some other settings but the most important ones are uh, here so here we have uh, first of all widget checkout enabled if you want to enable it uh, enable this widget uh, your widget on checkout if you want to enable your button on uh, a cart if you want to enable your button on product pages so you can just enable or disable these things and just click on save changes and here you go we are done with everything and now let's just go to our shop and see how it works so here we are at our shop just click on any uh, just go to any of the product and here you go you have a purchase with partially button enabled and you can just click on purchase with partially to buy the things with partially you can also add a to cart I'll just add the product to cart just go to checkout <clears throat> and here in partially uh, sorry in checkout we have two options debit credit uh, and also the partially payment method and to do that first of all I'll have to add all the details 
then uh, here you can see uh, when I selected this one 20% upfront uh, uh, with uh, the two months flexible payments and after that I'll just click on this I have read the uh, uh, read and agree to the website terms and conditions and just click on place order but I will just go back to the store and here you have this purchase with partially so you can just click on purchase with partially and then add your email on which you want to get registered this is for consumers when someone buys your your product with installments and uh, just click on continue and here the customer uh, will have to continue and here uh, you will uh, customer will receive the authentication code and uh, you uh, you will have to uh, as a customer the customer would have to add that authentication code that uh, is been received on the email and after adding the information uh, adding the code uh, here customer will have to add the information here customer information uh, at com, and then just click on, uh, on proceed to checkout then here uh, customer will have to add the credit card debit card information then I have read etc etc and click on process down payment and the down payment would be processed and automatically their card would be charged on the monthly or weekly basis maybe it's credit card or debit card and uh, here they will have to add uh, this uh, signature and um, here you have the complete terms 18 uh, on thursday october 27 then 18 dollars on thursday november 10 and 18 dollars on thursday november 24 then on uh, december 8 and uh, that's how it would work and uh, that's how you can just add the down payments and uh, installments and uh, partial payments to your website and uh, after the payment is made you can access everything on your partially dashboard so that was all about this video see you in next video till then stay safe take Take care. Assalamualaikum.